I'm wearing this coat for a dramatic effect. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am Sebastian and I'm on a mission to live my best life and look good doing it. As a business owner, as a mom and as a wife. If you want to live your best life too, then you are my people. So please subscribe and become a best lifer. I wanted to say this was going to be like a day in the life video, but <laughs> I don't think it, I have enough content for it to be a day in the life. And also like the day is still going on. So it's just the best life. <laughs> it's not a day in the life. It's just the best life. Hence the best life vlogs. Okay, so today is the 2nd of July, 2023. It's like the beginning of the month and everything. And I am over here. If you look at my screen over here, I'm here setting up my calendar. Uh, trying to figure out what I'm exactly am I doing this month. And just like setting an intention as to what I want to do. And yeah, what I want to do when. And what is the good for this one so basically i'm working on that and also i need to look at my books and all of that because it's actually the beginning of the month and i haven't and uh, so i'm going to be spending most of the night in here on on this desk so it's currently it's the second of july but it's actually <laughs> it's actually the third of july now i guess because the time is one how what one minute past 12 at midnight and honestly i don't care <laughs> this is the trend that you'll find in, in my videos i live outside of time and i just told myself that if i want to get something done i'm going to do it regardless of time because i think that time is just um the notion of time and the way that isn't this a it's a, a structured uh according to time by society is not necessarily true for everyone i feel like it's it's just a general thing and i don't think i should take it and apply it to my life in general just as it's like uh i i don't want to eat breakfast at eight just because somebody says i should eat breakfast at eight i don't want to um sleep at 10 just because somebody says sleep at 10 i don't want to you know and i feel like for me it's more important for me to get to feel like I'm actually doing stuff to feel like I am pouring myself out there to feel like I'm actually doing the best that I can in my best life so sticking to a schedule that is basically society created by society is not really my thing anymore i am living on my schedule which is outside of everybody's time if i want to film a video at midnight i'm going to film a video at midnight if i'm going to i want to work out at midnight i'm going to do that it's not about the time it's about what i can get done with the time right because i feel like a lot a lot of us um we postpone so many things because of Elon Designer's cut. So you're like, oh, I want to work on this project, but now I can't anymore because it's this time. And that is how we mostly fail at uh, our habits that we're trying to build and develop for and like the self-development things that we try to do. Like you say, okay, fine, I'm going to wake up. We say, okay, fine, I'm going to wake up in the morning and gym and, and go to the gym at like, at like six or work out at like six and then if we're six and you are busy or six and something happens you can't work out at six you're like oh it's done for the day then and we're six i can't do that and that have been really really trying to just move away from that mindset and not live like that like if i say i want to work out i want to work out and i will work out whenever i want to work out i'm not gonna work out at six just because i missed six doesn't mean that i'm now not gonna work out for the rest of the day i could decide to work out at 10 work out whenever whenever so yeah i hope i'm making <laughs> i hope i'm making sense and yeah so in my best life i live outside of time even when i get something done i get it done 
and if I still have energy, I do it. But with sing Azela, I'm Izolala, and when I want to sleep. And yes, this is actually more possible for me because I am a business owner and I live in my own time and I run in my own time. But though there are things that I, of course, I still need to get to get things done but i'm able to have a little bit of more wiggle room of which somebody who works a nine to five job might not but also even if you work a nine to five job there are so many other things that you can live outside of time off of course i might still have like i'm a meeting like two so i have a meeting at 11 or i have a consultation and it's at, uh, it's, 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 it's at other time of course i'm going to meet that com um that commitment because even though i live outside of time i still need to live in a world that is aligned with um the societal concept of time so so i still need to do that so but i can live outside of time with everything else that i need to do for myself so even if you work a nine to five you can still uh live outside of time with other things and then just like factor in time when it's something that um involves a third party like going to work for your boss you need to be on time you know i hope i'm making i'm, ma I'm making sense but it's just because you wanted to pray at 7 a.m and now it's no longer 7 a.m and you were not able to pray it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be praying anymore you can pray at any other time you know those type of that type of stuff when it comes to that you can actually uh live outside of time yourself regardless of whether you have a nine to five or you're like me you run your own business and you have a little bit of more wiggle room to manage your own time okay so as i am busy scheduling uh the month of july you guys are going to be watching uh what we got up to earlier in the day um I made a tracksuit for my son. I had already made a tracksuit for my husband and a matching look for myself because I don't really like wearing a full on tracksuit. I like to wear my sweatpants with, with tail necks. So that's what I'm wearing this blue look. So I made my husband a blue um a tracksuit and my my son a blue tracksuit as well. And then we went to shoot some content and oh the shoot was so nice i actually want to frame some of the pictures because it came out so beautiful and so clean so yeah you guys are going to be watching us do that while i work here and we'll catch up later Something in my brain caught this dress So come and make me feel different mm -hmm. You wanna hold, don't hold back oh. Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back to a new day in the life so it's a sunday and we're starting the sunday off by taking some family pictures and uh outfit pictures for the online store and stuff like that <laughs> so uh end up complaints no Oop. they were passing a bondage
remember the first time that we two met The love in the chugging, can't forget how you I did my stuff over here and then I saw that some there's some contents that I needed to shoot still so I decided to shoot some content for TikTok you need to follow me on TikTok by the way Zia Kipa over there <laughs> and I just did a giveaway on TikTok of these two pairs of shoes I'm gonna announce the winner on friday uh friday is gonna be this is today is tuesday oh no today's monday <laughs> today's monday so three four five six seven so on the 7th of july i'm gonna be announcing the winners of the shoe giveaway that i am doing on tiktok yay yeah so that's what i've been up to and i'm still like awake awake right now it's where's the other phone right now it's 2 13. okay so what i'm gonna do now is i think for the rest of whatever so what i'm gonna do now is just edit some of the content that I was shooting and schedule it to post. And yeah, I'm going to be doing that until I fall asleep, whenever I fall asleep. Let's do it. <laughs> arrived at the office it's like 10 o'clock and yeah I'm gonna take off my classes <sighs> it's a new day so we're here so working so around 10 o'clock I ended up going to bed at around like half past four I want to say <laughs> yeah yeah and woke up at eight and then we're here at quarter past 10. So about to work on some client projects. And I think I might go to the fabric shop today because there's some new projects that I need to start working on and I'm gonna need fabric for that. And yeah, what of that? Let's get started with the day. <laughs> Nice. 
I'm in my home office. I just came back now. It's around two. And I just came back now because um, I need to do some editing work, editing content and all of that because the intention of this month is to sales, <laughs> to do sales, is to uh, increase sales and do as much as I can basically remove obscurity uh, on my brand and just be put myself out there as much as possible. So I want to stay on track on top of that so that is why i want to be editing and posting and scheduling all my posts to make sure that i don't fall back and i don't fall behind uh during this month and i get more people to notice that i am here so yeah i'm home and this is what i'm wearing you saw that outfit earlier this is my favorite corner of the home office is this big mirror. It goes almost all the way to the ceiling. I like to use this mirror to do fittings because sometimes I still do fittings in the house, a home, just just like for people if they if being an artist cut to come during the days when we like I'm doing fittings after work or on a weekend or whatever. I would sometimes do the fittings here, so we use this mirror. This side we have my desk. This is the desk that I use for sewing mainly. And then this side we have some of the clothes that I'm wearing. Uh, this is this is stuff that I'm currently wearing this season. So I have that out here and the stuff that I'm not really wearing much uh, in the wardrobe. This is stuff I'm excited about. And the shoes, this is just my shoes, the fur coats, I'm wearing fur coats all winter, makeup and accessories this side. And then this side, this is where I do all of the computer work. And over here, I have these two paintings that my sister uh, painted. She's such a good um, aunt, artist painter. <laughs> Whatever, uh, it's just a recent a, a recent talent that she discovered, and she's really really growing and she's great at it. So I have them hang here. I have them hung here in my office, and then over here, this is my dream board, vision board. So. Yeah. It's not even morning because we're just heading out and it's quarter past 12 and i am with the baby i don't know if you can see because i'm using the back camera of my phone but yeah we're heading out we're gonna go run a few errands buy fabric go to the office and first we're gonna start by dropping off a manzi for our friend because I am a man, <laughs> even in the north, guys. I am a man everywhere. So I wake up, man. So we're going to drop off his group hmm, of water and then go yeah. fabric shopping or start at the office. I'm not sure, but either either one. And we have the baby with us today. Nanko, Bunky. 
Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Says I'm big and cool. Says what's the meaning of it? I'm a free through the door, and I ain't going nowhere. Took a while to get me here, but I'm gonna take my time. Don't fight the good shit. I don't think I've actually spoken much today. It's been such a busy day. And most of the girls have been driving up and down, made a lot of stops. And to be honest, that tires me out more than actually just sitting down and so excuse me, sewing and like staying in one place and doing um a certain type of work. But oh come back, looking and you stop and go oh, that tires me out. And so when I came back and I was with my son the whole day. When I came back, I took a nap and then woke up at 8. Right now, it's around half past 11 at night. And I just want to just add this little bit of um, on the on the vlog and then close it off so that I can start a new vlog. Something is going to go and be way too long. So I just took a shower and I did my makeup because... I have an idea for a con a, a, like for some content that I wanna shoot, so I'm gonna do that. Mink I'm just like scripting what I wanna say right now, and then from there, I need to prepare for a fitting because I have a, a fitting tomorrow at eleven. So what I got up to yesterday after I got home was to kind of try and do my content on TikTok but yo that was a struggle that was a struggle yo <laughs> that was a struggle but I, I i think i think i'm heading towards a solution i hope so i haven't seen the results yet but yeah so what had happened was is that i my my personal account on tiktok is cool but the um, the business account was actually like really giving me problems so at first i set up the business account as a personal account and it was good and everything but then um i wanted to be able to add a website uh website link and you can apparently can do that with a business account um, 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 to have like a certain number of subscribers first before you can share a link so I did. I changed my person, the personal account. I changed it from a personal account to a business account. Well, it is a business account in in, in, in actual fact. So I thought, okay, that was a lie, name. But but uh, when I started posting the videos on the on the business account, it actually didn't work very well because there's when you are using a business account, it's like 
you have limitations when it comes to music. So I decided to change it back to the personal account. Let me tell you, when I changed um, the Zalo page from a business account to a personal account, literally, I don't know what happened to the TikTok algorithm or whatever. It just stopped showing my videos to anyone. Like I would post a video and it would sit at like zero views for days like it just like my account became just like non-existent so i switched it back to the business account but then now tiktok is horrible if you are running a business please don't do the mistake that i made like don't just create your business account yes but then make it a personal account don't actually make it a a business account on tiktok Don't actually make it a business account on TikTok because, especially if you're in South Africa, because it's trash. Like I feel like they don't care. Like it's 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 trash. So I I I had to switch it back to the business account because now it it was blocked pretty much as a personal account. So I switched it back to a person to a business account. I was like, okay, if I'll just manage with whatever music that um I'm allowed to get, but then it never really picked up and it never really like got good but like it was just like picking up now like a few more people were seeing my videos but when i wanted to actually add the website link horrible like they don't care like if they or they want you to uh add the address of the business the name of the business and everything before you can um add the link cool fine that's not a problem i have that i know whether my business i know the address of my business and all of that i have all of the information and the registrations and all of that i have that but <sighs> the whole thing is developed so trashy that um they want you to uh select the country where your business is in okay that is south africa cool fine should be easy so i click on the drop down list of countries Aoko, south africa and Aoko, South Africa, it's not like if I can't find the country and then they allow me to type the country. No, I can't type it. And because I couldn't select that, they couldn't populate the city. And also because I couldn't populate the city, I also was not able to type it. So because I'm like thinking if, if Google, they, they don't have your country or your city in the list, then they should let you type it. But that's not the case. So I couldn't fill this field. And when I wanted to save um, the website link, I couldn't save the website link because the fields that I couldn't fill are required fields for you to proceed. The whole thing is just trash. So, yeah. <laughs> so I just ended up like deleting the whole entire page. So I ended up deleting the entire page and created a new page. So after creating a new page then i had to start from from scratch and just like repost all the content that i had posted before and yeah i posted i managed to post like 11 videos uh which is right now it's kind of seeming a little bit weird as well because the first couple of videos that i posted they actually were uh, visible to a lot more people they had it had more views and and notes i had i was starting it back at zero followers so um, it had more views but then the more i posted they just stopped like i think the last video i posted stayed at like 20 views and the well the first one was like a 500 views so i'm not sure what happened to the algorithm there maybe i posted way too many pick too many videos or too much content at the same time or on this in the same day that's maybe they thought it's a fake account or a spam or whatever i don't know so i'm just gonna give it a day and see what is going on there or whatever that is interesting like, because i want to have like a business page that actually is moving you know yeah anyway i am going to end the vlog here I need to finish this. I need to shoot uh, this content that I have an idea for. I want to execute it immediately. I don't want to delay, even though it's like already half past eleven. But that doesn't matter because we live outside of time over here. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. 
if you're still here <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the best life family and become a hashtag best lifer thank you so much follow me on the other socials on the instagram the tiktok that is giving me trouble and all of that and if you can uh go to tiktok and enter the giveaway if you're a size three and you want to win yourself a pair of shoes go to tiktok and enter yourself and, and enter the giveaway for a chance to win those shoes thank you so much